Weather pattern for us here in Acadiana. Tropic staying quiet as well and cooler weather in the forecast as we head into next week. We'll break it down here in just a little bit, but first let's start out and take a look at the bigger picture here and uh, drier air moving in in the wake of beta here across our region. And so with northerly winds not only aloft but also at the surface, that's going to continue to give way to drier, slightly cooler air as we head into Friday. Now all the showers and storms well off to our north and east associated with the remnants of beta, leaving us pretty much high and dry, although we still have plenty of cloud cover, but you don't have to go too far into central Texas to see the clearing line. So that's why I think as we head a little bit later on into tomorrow afternoon, we should start to see that sunshine start to peek through the clouds. Now out in the tropics, I really have to say it's like a breath of fresh air here because we're not expecting any new developments here in the next five days across the Atlantic Basin. Now late September into early October, normally prime time Western Caribbean season. So we'll keep an eye for any homegrown stuff that tries to get going in the next week or two, but really nothing to be worried about at this time. So running it through with the graph model here overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, starting out on the quiet side again. I think we'll have to contend with some clouds still by tomorrow morning, low temperatures in the mid 60s and then through the course of the afternoon. Go to sun and cloud mix again. I think we'll see a little bit more sunshine than what we saw out there today. High temperatures back into the lower 80s. Still a northerly wind out there tomorrow. So overall, overall not a bad feel to the air. And then as we head into Saturday, looking to start off on the quiet side, but then we'll see more of an onshore flow heading into Saturday afternoon. So a tad bit more humid, but still not too bad out there. Partly cloudy skies, also a little bit warmer. Uh, high temperatures will be in the mid 80s. And then again, with more of that southerly flow could help to spark off uh, at least a few isolated showers and storms for Saturday afternoon, but still rain chances will sit no better than 20%. And then heading into Sunday, pretty much similar story. Staying on the warmer side, not unbearable. High temperatures pretty close to where they should be for this time of year in the mid 80s. And again, rain chances will sit no better than 10% partly cloudy sky. So all in all, not looking like a bad weekend out there. Now low temperatures tonight again in the mid 60s with those cloudy skies continuing to stay in the forecast and then heading into your Friday. We'll start out again mostly cloudy, but then by the afternoon we're looking to see intervals of sunshine. High temperatures looking to top out in the lower 80s and then rain chances tomorrow afternoon basically slim to none. So here we go into the next uh, 10 days here again overall not looking like a a bad weekend, partly cloudy skies out there. A little bit warmer, high temperatures will rebound back into the mid 80s and then we'll reintroduce slightly higher rain chances heading into Monday ahead of a cold front and then temperatures really look to go down from there. And then by the uh, end of next week, we could be looking at a reinforcing front and then heading into next weekend, pretty much picture perfect weather out there. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures back into the lower and mid 70s, overnight lows into the lower and mid 50s. So, Jim, probably not a bad idea here to start dusting off the old fall and winter attire. All right, sure will. Thanks, Bradley.